Uh, my name is Lisa, and I'm one of the owners of Mona Moore Shoe Store in Los Angeles. And we're here at Magic today. I'm with Jane Aldridge of Sea of Shoes and her mom, Judy, and just have a few questions. We're just going to have a little conversation. Great. <laughs> Um, so I follow both of your blogs actually and I just think it's really cool that you guys like have a mother-daughter thing going on. I actually have two daughters myself, 20 and 17, so I'm really curious about how you two influence each other's style. I would say that probably our style is a lot of a collaborative experience. We do all of our shopping together and if we try to shop without each other, we're hopeless. Yeah, we're hopeless. So um, she's definitely got an, an amazing eye, and I learn from it all the time. And she's so she knows so much about jewelry and vintage fashion. So I've learned so much from her. But on the same, you know, flip side, I learned I learned so much from Jane, and Jane definitely reawakened my love of fashion because I was so into being a mom and um, had kind of let that side of me go. So it's really wonderful to have a daughter that has this love of fashion and such an interesting outlook that is truly all her own. Um, and I'm, I'm curious about what Jane was like when she was a little kid and if you if there are any clues that this might happen. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, Jane was always a very precocious individual child. She did everything differently and I can tell you that in kindergarten the teachers used to gather around the classroom door every day to see what Jane Aldridge was wearing. <laughs> so yes, I guess there was a little bit of a, a predictor that this was in her future. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask about like how you guys are similar and how you're different in your, se in your sense of style and how you dress. You know, that's probably a bad question to ask us because whenever we go into a store, we even if we went into to, like not together we always choose the same things sometimes it's like mm -hmm. is our style exactly the same but of course it isn't I mean even though we do share a lot of clothes but we definitely I don't know how it happened but we have exactly the same eye yeah you can put a, um, a thousand pair of shoes in front of us and send us in uh, one at a time and we will choose the exact same shoe. We will come out with one shoe and it will be the same. It's it's kind of funny and, and strange at the same time, but I don't know. Jane is so much more daring than than I am. Yeah, she definitely inspires me to get more out there, but she should be a little more daring. She's a lot younger. <laughs> um, so, but I, I always learn new and different things from her and she's so much more into the internet culture and she's study uh, finding these websites that I would never find on my own and and teaching me about new things okay Jane if this were not 2011 and the age of the blog what would you be doing I really love that question because I like to imagine living in a time when there weren't blogs um, I would definitely still love fashion maybe I wouldn't know as much about it because of the internet and if it wasn't the, the age of blogs, hopefully it would still be the age of eBay, so I could still shop online, but I think that we would still totally be out there looking for clothes. Maybe we would have a, a vintage store. Or, or I think um, if it weren't for the age of blogs, we probably would be collaborating more on producing our own line, which it's something I did before. So I think we probably would have ended up in, in, in that area. Whose style do you admire? Like, are there, there are certain people that I Google and I want to know what they wore. And uh, I'm just wondering if you guys, who you guys follow that way, or if there's anyone. I, 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 have, I think we have a lot. I love Ashley and Mary Kate. I just, yeah. I love what they do. It's, it's always so interesting. And yeah. Charlotte Rampling, um, we love Kate Moss. I love to go to Wagloven and look where they kind of capsulize the most popular post and, and see who's doing what and inevitably it's always like the same people that you that you admire um, so yeah and we really love like looking into the past we love Bianca Jagger and Tina Chow because they were a lot about Lauren Hutton yeah people who are into big dramatic jewelry we're really into and it seems like the 70s is is our era of um, you know where we get the most inspiration any fashion shows that you would like to attend in Paris? 
to two for me. Yeah. Oh, I would want to see Chanel. I mean, just for the yeah. spectacle. Yeah, I mean, the icebergs last year. It would be so incredible. Go, go ahead. And Kinzo has become definitely a big production. They had an amazing show last year, and I love what Antonio Moras is doing for them. So I think that would be super fun. And I love. I would love to see Andrew Milanese there, too. Yeah. I'm curious uh, about who photographs you and your blog. Is that top secret? No way. <laughs> it's my mom. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. And I do some of my own, like with a remote, but yeah, most of the time if I'm outside, it's definitely my mom shooting me and I shoot her for her blog. So, so you yeah. guys are just like setting up little, like, okay, we're going to go and just um, photograph each other. Yes. But yeah. For the year coming up, for 2011, we um, are like shopping for props right now. We want to get into some more elaborate set design. Like we're actually very excited about taking that on as a new creative endeavor and making like something more fantastical. And like, so it's not so much like you're in this field or on the street or at a shopping center. So it's something like we're really in control and creating the entire mood. Mom's definitely spearheading this venture. We went to an antique mall and she got like 15 can <laughs> candle holders that were like this tall. It was a total ordeal getting them into the car, but she, she loves doing things like that. And I'm really glad that I have a mom who, who has a niche that way.